Hey Capricorn, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do your October uh, sex and love messages. So uh, disclaimer, there's going to be a lot of sexual talk. There's going to be a lot of cussing, um, a lot of filthy, dirty talk. So if you're not into that or if you have kids around, please uh, just remember that I fucking warned you. <laughs> so, all right, so let's see what's going on with my Capricorns for the month of October. Sex and love. I know I'm a little late with these vi with these videos, but hey, better late than never. So I wasn't feeling them the first week. Well, within the first days. So you know, I always like to release them when um, I feel in my intuition that it's time. Okay, so. All right, we have, ooh, we have new love. Demonstrate love and be authentic to who you are. Okay. So, new love. It says, embrace this new opportunity of love that is here. This may pertain to work opportunities or to spiritual growth. Definitely, if you are in a committed relationship, you could be going through a, trans a transformation of renewing your love, okay? You guys can be going through some shit, but it's only to, um, to transform something that has been old, okay? It's kind of like tweaking it up a bit. The universe is, is adding those tweaks to it so that you guys can um, level up a bit. And if not, and if you're single, you have someone new coming into your life. And um, this is going to give you the opportunity to become closer to spirit because this new person and this new love is coming in. It's going to open your eyes to the possibility of, oh my God, there is love out there. Um, they, they could be very healing at the same time. So yeah, embrace it. Look at that. Look at those shooting stars into her hands. Him, her, whatever. You see that? catching the wish all right then we have demonstrate love find out what is important to the people you love and act on it what is important to you and those around you your your husband your significant other yours truly what is it that is important to you and the people that you love and act on it is it important for you guys to have your one-on-one -on -one? is it important for you guys to spend some quality time uh, respect that about each other respect that about yourself they also need to respect that about you that you are someone that needs that affection and attention so always demonstrate how you feel and how you love and uh, talk about it you know it creates that bond so it's very important for you guys to do that then we have a be authentic to who you are uh, you are asked to be real and true pertaining to who you are and how you feel Okay, don't hide wh who you really are. Don't hide what you truly feel. If you have a problem in a situation, be open. Okay, speak your truth, speak your mind without feeling worried that the other person's going to have a problem with it or they're going to ghost you or stop talking to you because you said something that they didn't like. You don't want to agree just for the sake of agreeing or pretending that you are into that kind of stuff or you agree to what they're saying, but you really don't. Okay, that's not being true to who you are, what you believe in. Always be authentic, okay? People will love and appreciate you for your authenticity, for your, for your rawness. So it's always important to do that. Let's pull some cards from the Fortune reading cards here. Capricorn. Okay. Well, we have the devil. Okay, this is the sign of Capricorn. So take care immediately to avoid temptation and deceit. That's underneath the new love. Okay, take care immediately to avoid temptation and deceit. Okay, so. So always be careful who you allow in your surroundings. Always be careful. Always remember to protect yourself, protect your heart and everything like that. Um, always be true to yourself too so that they know who they're dealing with and you're not easily deceived or manipulated in any way, shape, or form. Okay? This new love is someone that's very, very good looking, 
they're tempting. You see that? New love, temptation is coming your way. So make sure that you, you, you embrace it, but at the same time, you protect yourself from getting hurt. Okay, it doesn't mean that it's, this is a really bad thing. It's just telling you to be careful. All right, then we have eagle. Okay, eagle. You will, you will soar towards your destiny with greater clarity and strength. And that's below the demonstrate love. So, or above the demonstrate love. So, you will, when it says you will soar towards your destiny with greater clarity and strength, this is like telling each other how you, what you want in the relationship, telling yourself what you want, being true to your feelings, what turns you on, what turns you off, what's going to upset you, what's going to make you happy. When you get that clarity in the communication, that's going to help you go places. It's going to help you reach. A different level in in your love life in your sexuality and you are going to have you know strength you're going to have um you're going to be glad that you did that to to open up to being true and honest so then we have unity a time of divine understanding renewal peace and hope you radiate and attract great love you see this is unity coming together with a new love Okay, or just reunited with the one that you've always been with or always loved and it becomes something new. But you've got to remember to protect yourself because you don't want things to go back to their old ways or be tempted to fight or be tempted to, you know, just give in to those urges of wanting to call each other out on their bullshit and stuff like that, which is fine. But as long as it doesn't interrupt what you guys have going on. All right, then we have the Romance Angels here. Okay, that's the only one that flipped over. True love. <laughs> New love, devil, and then true love. My, my. This is the romance of a lifetime. This person is going to rock your world, or you are going to be rocking someone's world. This new love. Okay, it's, it's true love. It's divinely guided. Look at the angels behind that card, behind both of them. Oh, man. Some of you are going to be tempted to just rush into it. Wow. Look what came out again. New love. That's double. Wow. A new Sorry. per... Something went wrong. Try again in a few seconds. Okay, I was n in no way talking to Google. She just popped out of nowhere. That was really creepy. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> All right, so new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings, you see? Ooh, man. Okay, let's say you're in a relationship. You're married or whatever. Temptation comes knocking. And you have to protect yourself or protect whatever it is that's going on because you're afraid to get caught. And you maybe you've been sad or you've been lonely. You not, have not been happy in your current relationship. And then here comes, you know, here comes temptation with the devil card. And it's like, it just turns your world upside down. And you catch feelings and you're tempted to just give in and, and stuff like that. And, there, and there's nothing wrong with that as long as you're not hurting anybody along the way. Just have that one-on-one -on -one conversation, move it on, and then, you know, do what you got to do. So for those that are expecting new love, this is, you know, someone's coming in. They're, you're going to catch feelings and it's telling you this is true love. Okay, don't be afraid to demonstrate. All right, then we have healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. I feel like not only that, I don't really go by what that really says. Sometimes I feel like this could be your, your healing uh, a current relationship for those who are in one. You could be healing that and turning it into a new love because it's true love and true love never dies. So you could be, you know, going through a transformation in your relationship. And then this could also mean that for those who are single and meeting this new person, this person could help come in and help heal whatever it is that's been damaged or the past relationship that has been damaging towards you is going to come in and they're going to help heal that. So that's good. Okay, so let's go on to the sexual decks. Let's get into the sex. Sex, sex, sex. Capricorn for sex in October. Okay. Ooh, five of Earth, which is the five of Pentacles. Someone has been feeling like they're not, you know, getting it enough in the relationship 
or maybe if you're single you just haven't had sex in a very long time and you're growing cold down there <laughs> you're grow you're literally growing freaking spider webs <laughs> and you're like oh my god it's been a long time i feel miserable i need to get that sexual healing you know don't worry you got new love coming in so after a period of having non sexual intercourse with a, a human <laughs> just know that it's coming okay so and then for those who are in a relationship with the five of earth it just means that you know you're not happy because you guys are not having sex enough it's becoming boring and you just feel like oh you want something to be renewed and restored and something to spice things up and it's always good to spice things up it's time for you guys to do that yeah three of water which is the three of cups right here by the union card and the healing you will be, you know, reuniting with someone new. This could be coming together. This could be um, literally meeting up to have sex, uh, going on vacation and for pleasure. This could be, um, you know, just diving into a relationship and having lots of lots of good sex. This is like someone who can, who can get, you know, wet. Just look at healing healing unity and be authentic to who you are so it's like god damn yeah re reuniting meeting someone at a party getting together for a wedding this could also represent you just diving in and getting married right away to this new person coming in because they heal you sexually and emotionally so hey take it as a resonate yo if the shoe fits wear it bitch all right then we have the eight of air which is the eight of swords reversed so some of you are, um, yeah, you because it's true love or temptations coming your way, you're trying to stop yourself from feeling a little freaked out because you're like, oh my God, all these emotions are coming up and you're getting little butterflies in your poo nanny or in your balls or whatever, whether you're male or female watching. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's like you've had anxiety before in the past about a specific person, but I feel like this person is like, they're freeing you from that. A certain way of feeling or thinking because they just bring some kind of you know it just feels right and it kind of like freaks you out in a bit you're you're just like oh my god what what is this <laughs> what's this what's this i can't believe my eyes <laughs> the nightmare before christmas type of shit all right then we have king of water so definitely there is it could be a water sign coming in too Someone who's very loving, kind, nurturing, who knows how to, they have a way with their words. They have a way to uh, whispering in your ear or talking softly to you while you guys are having sex. And it just gives you tingles up and down your spine and they just know how to fucking do it. <laughs> they just know how to get you wet. <laughs> Look at you. Literally swimming in the wetness. Okay. Someone has their own ocean. <laughs> down there all right so we have the knight of air reversed knight of swords reversed okay so this could be somebody who likes to talk dirty in bed they like to you know talk dirty they like to mm, well that's actually someone that's that's actually somebody in the upright so because it's reversed it could mean that you know someone's faking their orgasms lying to you about you know it feels good but really it doesn't they're just lying because they don't want to hurt your feelings or you could be doing this to them and yeah that's what i'm saying for those who are not happy with the person you're with and that's why it's like stressing you out because temptation comes knocking or something else comes in and you're like okay i i'm done this is what i want there's i don't want to be miserable you know what i mean so <laughs> yeah it also could mean that someone in your relationship or someone that you're talking to is constantly lying about you know who the where they're going and who they're with and how their ways are and stuff like that so just be very careful it could be a player uh we have the knight of water yeah you see someone is coming in hot knight in shining armor with the knight of water and the king of water definitely okay someone is coming in this new love is coming in and they i'm telling you they're with the healing card here the way that they talk and, and and 
converse with you they have they just know how to touch your heart and your soul and that's very tempting for you to just dive into this because they just make you feel at home they make you feel at peace and that's why you're just like man this is like a a romance of a lifetime literally just like card says then we have the six of fire six of wands someone's gonna get what they want mm-hmm definitely you diving in you you're not gonna want to wait to sleep with this person okay you are just gonna dive in and you're gonna be successful at doing it so if you've been keeping your eye on someone and you've been lusting over them okay you are going to succeed at getting what you want sexually so let's change the deck I mean a Pisces, Capricorn. Huh, I said Pisces, why? You, it could be a Pisces you're dealing with. Could be a Pisces, fire sign. Maybe some of you are dealing with an air, but maybe you're leaving an air to get with a, a water or a fire. I don't know. I don't want, I don't like to say signs, but those are the ones that pop up to me. Okay, ooh, this is you right here, Queen of Pentacles. Someone who just, ooh, someone who knows how to get what they want, who's very attractive, who attracts a lot of people, a lot of suitors. I'm so old fashioned. A lot of suitors. <laughs> someone who, um, who's independent. They see you as someone very sexy, whether you're male or female, okay? Someone sexy who's a go getter, who's very independent, who has their own shit. And that's just attractive all on its own. This fire sign sees you as someone very successful very independent and that's why they stay with you this is someone who can stay in a relationship for a long time with you or you can stay in a relationship for a long time with someone especially if you're in love with them you like to build an empire together okay so we have the six of cups reversed this could represent that someone is letting go of someone from their past releasing an ex okay releasing an ex so that someone new can come in so that's good this could also represent that you are just this person from the past could also mean that you've always had your eye on them and no matter how hard or how many people you've been through you always find yourself going back to this one person from the past hence can't let go so either you're letting go or the other people some of you are letting or or can't let go you can't let go or you are letting go depends on your situation okay we have the two of wands two of penises look at those penises danglings <laughs> sorry two of wands reversed okay this is someone who just sometimes some of you have been you know dating on and off just sleeping around and then afterwards you're like mm, I don't I don't want you anymore I don't want I don't want any, I don't want to get any further because you're not the one so you just either sleep with someone and then you're done or you're just you made your choice and decision and you're thinking about the future um, after you stop with this person you you're thinking about okay where what are we gonna do after this you know because maybe you caught some feelings or or maybe you were just like, okay, th this was just sexual. It just depends, you know, on your scenario. Then we have the hermit. Some of you guys are just in hermit mode where you just want to spend some time to yourself. You could be self-pleasuring. You could be just, you know, with your significant other, you know, spending quality time, having a lot of sex, getting, you know, just doing it and being like wild little animals and there's nothing wrong with that you know some of you need this alone time you need to be in hermit mode where you just want to focus on sex especially if you're trying to have a baby or something you know this is the month you know harvest season for you guys to start working on that or the and the sexual energies are very fucking high right now so mm. especially when since venus is in retrograde Venus is all in retrograde is all about you know releasing and then renewing and stuff like that so then we have the five of swords yeah five of swords that came out reversed look how it looks like in the upright okay she's like riding the penis and stuff 
And he's just like, damn, taking it. Five of Swords. Okay, reversed. This is someone who could be like, I don't know, maybe thinking about sex a little too much. Be a little addicted to sex, you know, constantly on and on and on. And all they want to do is have sex. <laughs> Some of you are dealing with someone like that. And you have to keep up because, you know, all they want to do is have sex. <laughs> And that could be fine if you're into it, but, you know, if you're not, then it could be a drag for you. God damn it. I hate it when that happens. Well, that one wanted to come out. This is, wow, the Ten of Cups. Yes, bitch. Some of you guys are going to be very sexually fulfilled. Getting everything that you want in bed, like role-playing, living out your fantasies, your deepest desires, and being fucking just so happy. Getting, you know, you don't need to look for it anywhere else because you're getting it all all right there with this person. So that's good. Very, very good. All right, let's get uh, a few cards from the Lover's Oracle. Okay. Here. Wow, healing. Speaking about healing earlier, right? The healing card came out. It says, imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment, you see? Some of you are working on your partnerships. Healing anything that has been damaged. Renewing it. Getting that sexual healing as well. Then we have a sacred union and a sexual union. Wow. Sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. For there you will find true bliss. Embracing the sexual union, right? Ooh, love it. Speaking of union, we do have the unity card here. Oh yeah, coming together, baby. Coming together. Uh, okay, then we have sacred union. Honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. This could be someone who's in a long-term relationship, who just got in a relationship and you guys know that they're one. The one. It just, just depends on your, your scenario, you know. Then we have wait. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. But as I'm seeing here, someone is diving right in. You don't want to wait. You're just diving right in. Or you're tempted to just dive right in. But it's telling you, wait, don't rush into it. You, they're still going to be there. Allow nature to take its course. Take it day by day. Yeah, you're tempted to just dive in, you know, because it's fucking too good to be true. Or you're you're feeling anxious because you feel it's going to pass you by or they're going to run away if you don't. But spirits got your back, you know. They got your back. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, Capricorn, this was your message. Please give it a thumbs up, like, share, 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 subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in your next video. Bye-bye.